right guys so this here is my custom tube chassis race car that i built and designed bought from scratch i basically started off by taking the measurements of a win 24 scale uh, vehicle and went from there uh, from what we see here everything is built from scratch for this one design except for the engine that one does come from another designer um you guys most like most likely recognize it um, but going back to my design, we have here in the back, you see the rear press rod suspension, watts link, differential, diffuser, spoiler. You can see the fuel cell right up there. I didn't go with a four link. I went with a three link. I also have the um, drive shaft there. Um, the kit is a total of 55 pieces. And let's see. So here we have the spoiler, which is detachable. The fuel cell is a, it's its own piece, of course. I left the drive shaft attached just so that you can choose whatever engine you want to go with. And then we have the front suspension. It's all tubular, of course, and also a push rod suspension. We've got the headlights up top and the canards below them. And we've got a separate spindle. This entire suspension should be uh, independently spinning. And then when you turn the front wheels, they should turn together as well. Um, this is my first design ever, so there's no guarantee, unfortunately, but I'm going to make this file available for free. So if you're interested, um, I'll, I'll provide the link and you should be able to download it from Colts 3D. And yeah, so I actually I would appreciate any feedback regarding the design, um, regarding the functionality, regarding the how well it's put together or how easy it is to print or not. Um, and yeah, so here you see I, I pulled the cage up. And you can see the individual pieces as they are separate. So uh, you, can, you can see here we've got our steering rack, radiator, uh, coilovers, spindles, control arms, engine cradle on the bottom, drive shaft, fuel cell, spoiler, diffuser, differential, watts link, push rod suspension in the rear. And then up top we've got the cage itself, which includes all of the... Uh, linking parts I'm not sure every everywhere that it should link together it's all attached to the cage already um, so everything you'll just be adding it to the cage itself and yeah all of the holes themselves are one millimeter in diameter and you should be able to fill that with a brass rod or whatever you choose to um, use at that point in time now I went with one millimeter in diameter when I'm designing it now I, I, I like I said this is my first design that I'm making from scratch so I, I when it prints out, I'm hoping that it actually is one millimeter. Um, but otherwise, that's what I'm hoping for feedback on. I don't always have time to print these out myself. So that's why I'm making the file available for free to the public. And if you choose to print it, all I hope for is some feedback from you. Um, if you design, if you post it anywhere, feel free to tag me just so that I can see it. Um, you don't have to give me credit or anything, but just so that I can see the finished product. That's what I really want. Um, and yeah. Like I said, I designed everything from scratch here, so the rotors should spin inside the calipers, and the calipers will stay in place because they are tri attached to the differential, and also in the front, they're attached to these front spindles. Um, so they'll also turn, of course, and everything. I can only imagine there might be an issue with putting the fuel cell into those gaps right there, um, but we'll find out. Um, but otherwise, the challenge is always fun, to be honest. Uh, like I said, this design is from scratch. Give me some feedback. Thanks for watching and I hope you like it.